This is the first one day sneaker review. And this is the uh, sneaker review for the Reebok Reebok Cart Pump Victory Men's and I've, every time I'm going to do one of these uh, reviews I'm going to have, I'll admit this, I'll have had them a few months or a few weeks, possibly months uh, and they've been broken in so that's just to get the warning out there before you set, uh, start complaining so I bought these back in Easter I think it was about Easter time from Brandpoint on Amazon and I'll have to admit I would recommend Brand, uh, Brand Point for Amazon as a decent seller. I've bought two pairs of trainers from them and I've been impressed with both. So I'm going to look at the silhouette of the sneaker, the colorway of the sneaker, the manufacture of the sneaker, and the comfortableness of the sneaker. So we're going to using the usual for uh, sneaker review standards for me. So the silhouette is your typical 90s bulky silhouette and you can tell it's a 90s uh, trainer because it looks very 90s-esque. It's big, it's got amazing comfort around the ankle. From what I understand I think this is meant to be a tennis shoe however you could mistake it for a basketball shoe because originally I thought it was a basket but I originally thought it was a basketball shoe but it has the word tennis on the uh, tongue which kind of tells you it's a tennis shoe so I've seen a couple of colorways in this shoe they all look really nice but I ended up getting the blue, orange and white and does it look brilliant? It works together because the blue is a really nice deep blue. But other colorways for trainers I've been more impressed with. It's a nice colorway, but it's not as good as, say, my Ewing Cross colorway. That's a really nice colorway. This is behind that colorway. So how is it built? The manufacture of it, apart from a few finger marks, uh, I've had no problem with how it's built. There's been no loose threads, nothing's come off, they haven't got too dirty too easily. Um, yeah, it's a good manufacture, but you would expect this from a subsidiary of Adidas. Adidas have been metroing a lot of Reebok stuff and and they're coming out with good quality retros this is a good quality retro let's go on the companies how did it last for a whole day so yeah it was a comfy trainer it's got the hexalite technology in it which is uh, cushioning that disperses your shock, it's got shock absorbers in but I don't know if it was the sweatiness on my feet or the trainer's size but my feet were slipping to the front of the trainer also by about 7pm my bottom of my feet were hurting but I had been on my feet for ages. I can't deny that. How does it look? I'm going to admit, this is a trainer that looks alright with jeans. I would personally either wear skinny jeans or really baggy jeans. 
because if you're gonna wear normal like jeans, jeans, they're probably just gonna rest on top of the top of the trainer. So you either get the really baggy ones or really skinny ones. Is this trainer a good trainer? Yes, it's a good trainer. I really like this trainer. I'm gonna buy this in another colorway, uh, maybe next month or the month after. But I really like this trainer. This is a trainer I would recommend to anyone who likes 90s footwear. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace.